Hello, this is the second slide of this uh, series. Deepricastia, deepricastia with um, uh, red. I show uh, the stress, the vocal stress. Deepricastia. I want you to remember uh, the Russian name because this is short participle, which is which doesn't exist in English or in Spanish, and um, it, um, it 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 is expressed in English and in Spanish exist only participle one and participle two, present participle or past participle. That's it. Only two forms, and these um, in Russian we have more of them, and um, let's look at them. So this idea prechastia, idea prechastia. Again, we have them present forms and we have them past forms. And I'm showing you like that, so you could see similarities um, in them. And also all of these deprichastia, short, short participles, short forms of participles, all of them are answering questions. Что делая? And this question you see in the middle of the uh, slide in the um, uh, bright green, um, bright green uh, color um, lined around. Framed. Что делая? Что сделав? The present form answering question. Что делая? Doing what? Doing what? Что делая? This question, by the way, also... Um, делая, делающий. Uh, also, депричастие, you know, депричастие. Что делая? Doing what? Что делая? Um, sitting or, you know, standing. And past... Past form will answer question. Что сделав? What having done what? Что сделав? And the questions themselves are also this депричастие сделав. So you will uh, look at them and you will see their endings. So next time when you are in the text, you will recognize them that they are, you know, they are from the verbs and these are uh, short forms of participles. депричастие, депричастие. Let's look at present forms, and all of them you will see will have ending ya, 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 или a, sometimes a, sometimes ya. Let's look at them. Сидя, doing what? This is a simultaneous action, which is requires uh, second, uh, you know, one more sentence, which is complete sentence. The sentence will be, um, you know, uh, he was doing something, and simultaneously he was sitting, you know, сидя. Okay, so this is an additional. This депричастие always serves as an additional description of what is somebody doing. Okay, simultaneous action. This is present депричастие, always simultaneous action with the, the other one. It cannot be by itself, okay? It only accompanies the other action, this депричастие, present tense. Сидя, for example, for example, he was reading... Um, sitting, you know, он читал сидя, he was reading, it's just a Russian past tense, он читал сидя um, на стуле или в кресле, uh, he was reading sitting in the armchair or uh, on the chair, you know, сидя. This, the next one is стоя, стоя, стоя is standing, you know, standing, or, for example, he, he was singing uh, standing, um, uh, on, on pill, Стоя, you know, стоя. Стоя is from the verb стоять. The next is лежа, лежа. Он читал лежа. He was reading uh, in lying position, lying, lying. Лежа, лежа, uh, it is yo, okay? Yo, ye is not correct to pronounce. So remember, лежа is from the verb лежать, to lie down, to lie in horizontal position. Лежать, and лежа is in the lying position, on the sofa, for example. Лежа. Или, uh, or for example, we can say, um, он разговаривал по телефону, лежа на диване. He was speaking on the telephone, lying on the sofa. Лежа на диване, lying on the sofa. The next one is двигаясь. Again, it's reflexive. Двигаясь is moving. Simultaneously moving, двигаясь, двигаясь. Двигаться is the infinitive, двигаться, двигаясь. The next one is летая, летая. Летая is flying, 
flying, летая, from the verb летать, and the last one is from the verb манить, to tease, маня, маня, маня is, for example, маня рукой, you know, waving with inviting gesture with a hand, маня, you know, маня, it's like inviting with your hand, маня, from the verb манить. And if you put in this last one the stress on the first syllable, you will have mania. Mania is a joking, kind of joking name for Masha Maria. Maria is kind of full name. Masha is like more, you know, simple way to say Maria, Masha. And mania is kind of maybe more village way. Mania is. And I put you, put for you guys uh, here. The joke, um, the joke where you see beautiful eyes and uh, the heart and um, in, in the purple, uh, you see Ох, не мани меня ты маня своими манящими глазами. I will read slowly. Ох, не мани меня ты маня своими манящими глазами. Oh, don't tease me. You, Manya, with your teasing eyes. You know, this is kind of uh, many words. Mani, ni mani, don't tease. From the word mani, minya, kavo, mi, minya, ni mani minya. Ты Manya. Manya is uh, the name. Своими, your, with your, своими, своими, манящими, глазами какими. What kind of eyes? And this is, as you see, it is a um, complete form of participle, which was in the previous uh, slide. Manyashimi. Manyashimi glazami. The eyes. Teasing. Teasing eyes. It looks like an adjective. Manyashimi. Okay. Let's look at the past forms of the Prichestia. Past forms. Past forms only can be formed from uh, perfective forms uh, of the verbs. And for those, we have to put some kind of prefix. For example, посидев, просидев. Посидев, you know, having, having uh, set, having set somewhere, you know, посидев, uh, просидев, you know, the same, просидев, посидев, просидев, different uh, prefixes. Uh, having sat for a while, you know, and then something else happened. Again, this dipricastia, they are additional descriptions of actions. They do not exist by itself. They are additionally, additional descriptions to some other actions in the uh, principal sentence. Prostayav, the next one is prostayav or postayav, you know. Postayav в очереди, you know, having stood in line, uh, you know, they got something or something. Prostayav. Prostayav, it, it sounds like, prostayav, it sounds like maybe in vain, you know. Prostayav, pro, uh, prefix gives that uh, meaning sometimes, pro. The next one is polyjav, you know, it's, it looks like uh, for a while, for a short period of time. Polyjav, chisok, you know, он продолжал работать to um, having laid down for, for for an hour, he was continuing working. Полежав, пролежав, пролежав весь день. Он ничего не сделал. Having 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 laid having been lying down all day long, he hasn't accomplished anything. He hasn't done anything. Пролежав, пролежав. So this will be the причастный оборот. This will be uh, participial, short participial con contraction, the same like in English, the same in Russian. Uh, in English, it will be uh, perfective, okay? And in Russian, it will be past form of dipricastia. The next one is подвинувшись, подвинувшись. Again, the same prefix, по, подвинуться, подвинуться is to move a little bit, you know, подвинувшись, having moved a little bit, подвинувшись. The next one is politev, politev, uh, having uh, flown, having flown, 
полетев. And I show you here past forms. Pa uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm showing here negative form. In Rus Russian, negatives um, to the verbs are very easy. They're just не particle, negative particle, не separately. Uh, we write it separately from verbs, and the same separately we write it from the причастие. Не долетев. Долететь is to reach destination by flying. Не долетев. Not having reach to the uh, by flying to the destination this will be не долетев не долетев что-то еще случилось something else happened you know without uh, having reached destination uh, we don't want that to happen the last one is the manif the manif is having teased it 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 looks like having teased to some place, you know, the manif it usually in into some place the manif. Primanif. Primanif, primanka, we have many derivatives here, you know. Pri primanif is like maybe animal, you know, primanka. Primanka is a noun uh, something what is what you can tease with uh, somebody like an animal. Primanif. Okay, let's repeat this past forms. Pasidev, prosidev, prostayav. Постояв, полежав, пролежав. As you hear, I don't pronounce V, because, you know, we don't pronounce, um, um, how do you call it, Vo voiced, voiced consonant in the, in the end, you know. It has to be continued with something to, to be voiced, so it sounds like voiceless F, пролежав. Пододвинувшись, пододвинувшись. Oh, sorry, it was пододвинувшись. Подвинувшись, uh, having moved, полетев, полетев, having flown somewhere, полетев, не долетев, having, not having uh, reached the destination by flying, не долетев, заманив, заманив, having teased somebody to some place, заманив, приманив, приманив, having, you know, teased somebody with something, with something. As you see here with black color, I'm showing you the endings. And you see all endings have v, 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 v. you know, подвинувшись, uh, I'll tell a little later about it. But all others have v, v, and they have yev, yev, yav, yav, av, av, yev, yev, if, if. So they, uh, they have different uh, vowels, but they have the same uh, consonants. Let's look at подвинувшись, подвинувшись, uh, moved, having moved. Подвинувшись. This has в ш, в ш, ши. Подвинувши, подвинув, подвинувши. This ши is kind of like archaic old Russian. Um, they don't use it in modern Russian. But um, they, so this verb, uh, verb, because it has reflexive, it, it uh, uses old form. Подвинувшись. This is correct way to say. But when we see other forms, we will see that... Uh, Сделавши, we, we, we say сделав, подвинув, но это сделавши, no, but you can see it in literature, you can see them in literature still. Our literature is 150 years old and so on. Okay, very nice. Let's repeat one more time these present forms. Сидя, стоя, лежа, двигаясь, летая, маня. So you see, these two причастия, they, they are very short, they look very short. And past forms... Always finished with V. Посидев, просидев, простояв, постояв, полежав, пролежав, подвинувшись, полетев, не долетев, заманив, приманив. And um, the answer questions, present day причастие answer question, что делая, doing what, and past forms, что сделав, having done what, always. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.